Well, let's get some more on this with Michael Patrick Byrne. He's the head of the Climate Dynamics Lab at the University of St Andrews. Thanks ever so much uh, for, for coming on the programme. Uh, can we start by putting this into context and, and why these temperatures we're seeing today and tomorrow, wh wh why it's important to understand where it fits into the bigger picture? I think it's, you can't say often enough that we're really in uncharted territory here in the UK. This is the first ever red weather warning for heat issued by the Met Office, which implies severe risk, not just to people with underlying health conditions, but to even healthy people with this level of heat. Um, so we've never had a temperature of 40 degrees in the UK before. We expect that threshold might be reached even today, if not, if not tomorrow. And this really comes hot on the heels of the UK breaking its temperature record only three years ago, but a temperature of 38.7 degrees. So what we're seeing is these events happening um, more and more frequently uh, and really what this is telling us is that we know that the climate of london is expected to feel like that of barcelona by 2050 so the uk really needs to be braced for more and more of these kinds of events what do you say then to people who say look, look this is just a hot summer's day why are we making such a big deal Sure, and well, we, we as, as mentioned, we, we have had hot days before, but really the difference now compared to, say, the very famous heat wave of 1976 in the UK is that since 1976, we've had almost one degree of global warming, so that when these events happen, they're on a, a warmer baseline climate, so they're more severe when they come around, and that's why we're breaking those temperature records that we set in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s uh, and since the year 2000. So these are really unprecedented events that are being um, amplified and boosted by the global warming that's happening, not just in the UK, but everywhere. You talk about unprecedented events, but do you think there's an, a case to say the continent's locked into these deadly hot summers? Or are there consequences of climate change that could cool Europe? Well, in, there, there's some suggestion that uh, cold snaps in winter potentially might become more likely in a warmer world, but I should say that that science is being hotly debated. Really what we expect is a general warming and in the summer, more extreme uh, temperatures. Now, you mentioned locked in. What I think we, we need to bear in mind when we experience these days is, first of all, to, to you know, take all steps we can to stay cool and healthy, you know, minimize um, exposure to sun, sunshine, minimize our physical activity. But more broadly than that, you know, the, it's not locked in that days like this will continue getting warmer and warmer and warmer. What we know is that when, when emissions stop, uh, temperatures will stop rising. So I think that's a hopeful message that I hope to share is that, you know, we're, locked, we're not locked into seeing escalating heat waves year on year in the UK. Once we get our emissions down to zero, we expect these temperature trends to reverse. So all hope is not lost. So what can you and I do? What can individuals do? If there was one thing, one single action that we could take to, to help on climate change, what do you think it should be? I think the real levers of power for climate change is such a huge um, issue. There are certainly steps that, that individuals can take, such as minimizing travel, for example. But really, from my perspective, the most important thing we can do is to talk to our elected representatives, talk to our politicians, and really put all the pressure we can through the ballot box on them to really prioritize climate change and i hope that as we we uh, as a new uh, prime minister of the uk is elected over the coming months i hope the new prime minister will really put this right at the top of their agenda michael patrick Byrne at the university of st andrews thank you